Modular environment design is the foundation of game environment creation. It's the secret behind creating visual consistent worlds using just a handful of assets. And by learning modular environment design, you'll be able to unlock the ability to build large scale worlds very quickly. You'll be able to create reusable assets that saves time and improves performance. You'll be able to stand out with a very valuable skill set by finally bringing your vision, your idea, to game engine reality. And this is why for the last few years, I've immersed myself into modular environment design creation, learning everything I could so I can create bigger worlds with fewer pieces, with less work, very quickly. And finally bring my ideas to life. And I packed this entire workflow, entire pipeline, all this knowledge that I've gathered into modular environment design masterclass tutorial course, something I've been working on for a long time. And it's finally here. So in this video, I'm going to break down what you need to learn to master modular environment design for yourself and begin creating worlds using modular assets so you can bring your ideas to life much faster. Let's dive in. First off, let's cover some concepts and principles of modular environment design. And modular environment design is a modeling technique that allows you to create large environments using only few 3D assets. And these 3D assets are repeatable and reusable. They can be snapped together in different ways to create bigger worlds, bigger environments. And modular geometry is perfect for any environment that has repeating elements to it, such as hallways, rooms, entire buildings, or even entire city blocks. And the opposite of modularity is where all 3D assets are unique. Everything is modeled individually and there are no repeating meshes being used. So modularity gives you that extra edge to create just a few 3D assets and then reuse them over and over again to create a variety of different environments. And all you're limited to is the theme of the 3D assets, how many you have and how you use them. Now there's a lot more principles for modular creation, such as establishing rule sets of the modular kit and sticking with it, the sizes of each modular piece, working with and staying on the grid, the importance of pivot points, creating a base modular kit and then testing it before you begin to model detail in it, and texturing, such as maintaining textile density across all of your modular assets. And in the course, we go into depth for each one of these points in more detail and I explain everything what you need to know and how to get it done. The next step is pre-production and planning. This is where you decide what you're going to create, collecting photo references, breaking down that photo reference, creating a top-down layout, and creating blackouts with certain sizes to ensure that your module assets work. Then comes modeling in Maya. This is where you model your modular assets, where you build clean, optimized, modular 3D meshes that work together, that snap to each other, leaving no gaps or overlap each other. And any of these pieces can be used in a variety of ways, can be swapped out for something else, and they're easy to use to create a bigger environment a larger world. And depending on the size of these pieces, you may end up creating entire rooms, entire floors of buildings, or you go more modular and more granular where you create individual walls, floors, ceilings, and columns. Then once you are done modeling and creating these modular assets, you've exported them, you imported them into UE5, you tested their modularity, their pivot points work, there are no problems. Then you move on to UV and you have to UV specifically for modular assets. And this is where you need to utilize tile and textures, trim sheet textures, and sometimes when needed, unique textures. And of course, UV comes with understanding for how to create your textures in Substance Painter. So UV and texturing are two things that have to be understood next to each other after you've done one and the other. So in order for you to texture properly, you have to know how to UV. And in order to know how to UV your assets, you have to know how to create those textures for those modular pieces. And again, in this modular environment masterclass, we cover both. Then you move on to creating materials in UE5 and using those textures from Substance Painter and UV'd static meshes. And then apply those materials or more accurately material instances onto your modular meshes. And with material instances, it gives you ability to change the visual look for each piece or for a set of pieces, as well as swapping out different material instances to vary the visual look of the modular assets. In addition to all of this, you have to understand the technical aspects of how to export and how to import the static meshes from Maya into UE5 and what comes with it so you understand where the pivot points are, how to export for pivot points correctly, how to have multiple material IDs on your meshes if you need it, and being able to constantly export 
and re-import existing meshes with new updates as you go through this pipeline. And then at the end of all this, once you have your meshes done, you still need to create collisions. You still need to construct the environment. You still need a design sense of how to use these static meshes in different interesting ways to create more unique environments and how to use lighting in UE5 to light your modular assets and your finished environments. So there's a lot that goes into this entire process from beginning to end. But the most important thing is you do not have to figure this out all by yourself. This is why I created this course. And with Modular Environment Design Masterclass, it gives you the entire pipeline from beginning to end, the full workflow for how to create your modular environment designs using Maya, Substance Painter, and UE5. From initial concept to final modular environment, I guide you through every step, making sure that you understand the why and the how behind each step. And from beginning to end, we build a complete modular set and the full environment to showcase. So with Modular Environment Design Masterclass, you get all the videos and the full pipeline, the complete course to finally create modular environments. And you will use everything you learn in this course to create all your modular environments moving forward. So this is the best all-in-one modular environment design tutorial course. And it's available right now for you to pick up and begin creating your modular environments. Follow the link, get the tutorial course, and let's begin.